Hi YouTube, in this video I will be testing the GPU that you see on the screen and some Blender rendering and viewport tests and then we will run the Blender Open Data Benchmark at the end and after we run the tests I will go through the results relative to the other GPUs I've tested. Uh, the model that we're testing is the MSI Supreme Liquid SoC. This is the uh, 32 gigabyte 5090 so I was super, super excited to finally get this one. I'm not holding it in my hands like I do in most of my videos because it's already installed in my workstation and I really didn't want to get it out again. It's it's really hard to deal with um, installing and uninstalling it. Uh, but yeah, so we'll start with the render tests and I'm going to show you the system specs here before we get started. Before we start the testing, I'll show you the system that I'm running this GPU on. So this is my workstation. It has a Threadripper Pro 7965WX 24 core processor. I have 192 gigs of RAM. I use all eight, cha eight channels, eight sticks of RAM on this board at 6400 MHz. And here you can see the RTX 5090 with 32 gigs of VRAM. And I'll show these as we run the tests so you can watch the temperature. But before we get there, I'll tell you it runs really, really cold and is very quiet. But let's get into the render scenes now. Okay, so now I'll show the tests. We'll start off with the classroom scene. This one's super quick. It only took 5.7 seconds on the 5090. The next scene is the barbershop scene. You can see this one play through here. Also not super long. 29 seconds on the 5090. Next is the Lone Monk scene. This one is the heavy scene. And it took this GPU 1 minute and 26 seconds. And finally, for rendering the Scanland scene, the 5090 did this one in about 19.8 seconds. Okay, the next test here is the viewport test. So this is the same animation, the same scene I've been using, and we're just going to watch the FPS count at the top. And in general, it looks like the 5090 was running at about 22.7 to 23 frames per second on average. And I'll just kind of let this play through so you can see that counter at the top. And then here is what the scene looks like with render preview turned on, just in case you were curious. And then finally, I did run the Blender Open Data Benchmark on version 4.4. And you can see here that I select the RTX 5090. And I'll speed this up and just let it play through. And on the screen now are the scores, which we will talk about here in just a second when we go through all of these results. Okay, so we ran all the tests. Let's go through the results real quick. So we'll start with the render scenes. I have the uh, brand new RTX 5090 results in green, and I left the Radeon AI Pro R9700 in pink so that you can compare the two 32 gigabyte GPUs. And then uh, pause this or look for the post with this data if you want to continue to uh, look deeper into the numbers. But for now, we'll just kind of speed through these. So we'll start with the classroom scene on this one, the 5090 only took 5.7 seconds. In this case, almost four times faster than the R9700, which is not a super good result because this scene is just too fast anyway, um, but it's interesting nonetheless. So let's go on to the barbershop scene. This one's a little bit more realistic. The 5090 is a, not surprisingly at the top again, um, and it's actually three times faster than the R9700 in this scene at 29 seconds for the 5090 and 93 seconds for the R9700. And as we go through these, you'll start to see a pattern here um, where the 5090 is just a little bit more than twice as fast as the 3080 Ti test results I have. So it looks like uh, between the 3090 and 3080 Ti, the 5090 has doubled that speed, which is kind of an old 
benchmark that NVIDIA GPUs used to supposedly follow is every two generations they would double in speed. So it looks like at least for the higher end GPUs, that is the case on this exact model here. And now we'll go to Lone Monk. This one is always the weird one. Uh, for whatever reason, everybody but NVIDIA does better on this test. Really nothing came that close. Uh, the 7900 XTX results I have, they're, they're really not too far off. We had 86 seconds for the 5090 and about 115 seconds for the 7900 XTX. So that's an interesting result. It, it beats the uh, AI Pro R9700 by a significant about 30 seconds in this test. So that's, that's a pretty big deal. And you can see that even in this test, though, the 5090 is still almost twice as fast as the R9700. So um, this is as close as the AMD Pro GPU gets to being a better value. And I think it's only in this exact scene where that kind of pattern seems to happen everywhere else. Um, the 5090 is higher multiples faster. So yeah, they're both 32 gigabytes, but even doubling the price, you're going to end up with about the same $3,000 uh, if you take two of these AMD cards or one 5090 to get about the same speed. And finally, for renders, we'll talk about the Scanlan scene. <clears throat> and this is one of the worst results for the R9700 versus the 5090. The 5090 did this in just under 20 seconds, which is interestingly very close to the 4090. That's not the case in all the tests, but it was in this one. And the 5090 is a little bit more than four times faster than the R9700 in this test. So definitely a big difference in speed there. And before we leave these, we'll talk about it one more time, but as Blender 5 gets closer, we are supposed to get a new version of AMD's HIP, and that should give us a bit of a speed boost. Hopefully they get it fully implemented by 5.0, and I will be watching the daily releases of Blender just to kind of keep up on it and see if they get it implemented before uh, the stable release. So if they do, I'll make a video on that, just kind of showing off the new, hopefully the new better speeds for AMD, but we'll see. Uh, next test here was the viewport FPS test. Again, the 5090 is in green. The R9700 is in pink. <clears throat> and it looks like the 5090 was just a couple frames per second faster than the 4090. And given this was on Vulkan with the 5090, and I have not retested that on the 4090, with Vulkan, so they're they're really close, and some of the system differences might be more to blame for that. Uh, the Threadripper build I'm using for this video is my workstation, and it does not clock as high as the consumer CPUs from the same generations. So it's possible that uh, there's just a little bit of an advantage from the CPU on these other results. Um, I don't think it affects rendering too much, but Viewport FPS definitely is more impacted by uh, total system specs, it seems. Uh, the other notable one here, so the R9700 is about half as fast as the 5090 in, in frame rate here in the viewport. Um, so study those. But 23 frames per second in the viewport while watching the animation is really, really fast. And you really just can't say anything bad about that performance. Um, obviously, we're at the top of the frame rate range for a 24 frame per second scene, so I'm going to have to come up with a way to scale that, and I might just stretch the timeline and then increase the frame rate to match it, but um, that'll have to be in the next few videos, and if we get a faster GPU or Blender update, I might have to go that way. Uh, finally, we ran the Blender Open Data Benchmark, and here again you can see the 5090 at the top. Uh, it mine got about 14,500 points. The 9070 XT and the R9700 are both down here, sort of at the bottom. And 
A lot of people don't really love this test, but you can see that the 5090 is almost five times faster than the AMD GPUs. So that is a absolutely massive gap. And even some of these other smaller GPUs are convincingly faster, like the 5070 Ti is almost three times faster than the 9070 XT. So I don't know if something about this test is easier for NVIDIA uh, GPUs, but there's definitely a big discrepancy there versus the actual rendering scenes that we run. Um, but that's it for the data. Watch for more soon. The next one, which might be in just a day or two, is the RTX 5050. I have it in hand, so watch for that soon. And then, like I said, I'll be watching for Blender updates to make sure that we don't get a sudden speed boost that goes unannounced. So we'll be watching for that. Otherwise, let me know what you think and uh, keep sending me ideas for new stuff to test. It'll take me a while to implement them and I'm gonna have to learn a bunch of different softwares, but over time we'll, we'll keep building the list. So keep sending those and otherwise, thank you and I'll see you in the next one.